Hello there, it's Jermaine Satya from LiveWellZone.com and in today's video I'm doing something different by talking about skincare. Now normally you guys know that I talk more about hormone balance and how to use natural remedies to support your health and alongside of that uh, one of my other areas of interest and things that I like to play with is natural skincare. I'm always looking for ways to simplify and at the same time uh, amplify results let's say. So I'm going to be talking to you guys today about rose hip oil and specifically the difference between rose hip oil rose hip seed oil because this is actually the oil that I really fell in love with as I started to actually learn um, what it is that carrier oils actually do and what they contain okay and if you know if you're thinking well how could this even help you when it comes to that the other areas of your health well for us women there's research that has shown that we are usually uh, exposed to a lot more toxins on a day-to-day -day basis than men which is also why we tend to struggle more with lots of different diseases including things related to hormonal imbalance and skincare products is one of the most common sources that's one of the places where a lot of women actually get exposed to a certain number of chemicals and a certain number of um, hormone disruptors so it can be helpful to also start to think about ways to you know like I said simplify your skincare or change your skincare still getting all the results that you want but avoiding some of those uh, nasty ingredients that could be messing with your health in one way or another so on to the topic of rosehip seed oil and rosehip oil what is the difference so rosehip seed oil refers to uh, oil that was extracted only from the rosehip seed. Now the rosehip oil, that can be a little tricky. So um, sometimes it refers also to rosehip seed oil and other times it refers to oil that was actually extracted from the entire rosehip because the rosehip is actually made up of the seed which is on the inside and then on the outside you've got the pulp and the skin. So that the language rosehip oil could either refer to the seed oil or it could refer to the oil that came from the entire thing. So the only way to know is to actually make sure that you read the ingredient section and make sure um, that it says that it was extracted either from the entire rosehip or it was extracted only from the seed. That's the only way to know for sure. Most brands will specify that. Um, in the ingredients and if they don't specify it then you could go to their website usually there might be somewhere on the website language that will clarify for you also know that when it's extracted from the entire rose hip it can also be referred to as rose hip fruit oil I know it's confusing it's a lot of language but the reason why I wanted to make this video and clarify it for you guys is because again when I got started sort of playing around with oils I had to figure this out for myself now there's a reason why this all matters and that is because uh, depending on which type of oil you get you're going to get different nutrients. So if you buy a rosehip seed oil which means the oil was extracted ex uh, exclusively from the seed you're going to be getting an oil that is higher in essential fatty acids. So uh, the essential fatty acids are that are in rosehip oil are omega-3s, omega-6 and omega-9s. In particular it is very rich in linoleic acid which is really good for bringing down inflammation and for supporting uh, your skin barrier so it is quite rich in that particular uh, fatty acid okay so the seed is very high in fatty acids and then it has a little bit of beta carotene beta carotene is also known as pro vitamin a and i'll get back, get back to that in a minute now if you buy an oil that was extracted from the entire rose hip so they extracted the oil from the seed from the pulp from the skin the entire thing you're going to get an oil that is much higher in beta carotene okay and the reason why is because that outer part of the rose hip is what actually has more beta carotene than the seed. So uh, according to one brand, which is Pai, according to Pai, you can have even up to five times more beta carotene uh, in that pulp and the skin compared to the seed. And here, this is where it gets interesting because beta carotene is something that is converted to retinyl esters retinol esters are in the same general family as retinols which you might be familiar with when it comes to skincare so, so this is why um, you're going to be getting different nutrients and potentially different results when it comes to your skin 
if you use um, the whole rosehip oil versus just a seed oil. So once again, it's not that one is necessarily, um, I wouldn't say better, they're just different, okay? And either way, you're still getting lots of good stuff, lots of good nutrients. And this is basically how I like to think about carrier oils in general, is that I kind of see them as food for your skin because you can apply them, you can nourish uh, your skin. And then one last note, because sometimes there is some confusion when it comes to rose hip, because rose hips are used a lot in vitamin C supplements because uh, again, that outer part of the rose hip is very rich in vitamin C. So sometimes people think that applying rose hip oil on their skin is going to give them vitamin C, but actually it will not because vitamin C is water soluble. It is not fat soluble. So you're not, uh, so if you want vitamin C for your skin, don't think that using any kind of rose hip oil is going to give you uh, is going to give you that because it it will not like and this is something that I actually confirmed um, a few years back when I first started using this I reached out to a couple of brands that I personally use just to confirm with them and they did say that actually yes there is not going to be any significant amount of, of vitamin C in rose hip oil all right so use it for the essential fatty acids use it for the beta carotene which is basically your pro vitamin A but don't rely on it for vitamin C. Now, one last thing before I wrap up this video is when you are buying your rosehip oils, you want to be aware of the different types of extraction methods that are used to get that oil. So uh, the one method that I really am a fan of is what is called CO2 extraction or carbon dioxide extraction. So this is where they use carbon dioxide in low temperatures to extract uh, the oil. This is often used, um, I've noticed this, that, that brands would do this only when they are extracting the oil from the entire rosehip, so from the seed and the outer parts. That generally is when they use the CO2. The other method is going to be cold pressing. Cold pressing is a gold standard for all oils, whether it's cooking oils, skincare oils, it's the gold standard. Now, cold pressing, even though it has the word cold in it, does not mean that it is completely void of heat. So there is, there is no additional heat used, but there is heat that is naturally produced uh, as a result of the friction between the seed and the cold press machine, okay? And that heat is going to be, um, from what I've come to understand, a little bit higher than the heat that is used for CO2 extraction. Um, so the let's say maybe the the quality of the oil might be slightly different to some degree but again it's not to say it's bad because like i said cold pressing is standard we all use cold press oils um, but just so you're aware that those are really the two methods that will give you the best quality is co2 extraction and cold pressing all right so on that note we've come to the end of this video about the differences between rosehip oil and rosehip seed oil and rosehip fruit oil and all the different languages that are out there i hope you found this helpful uh, in terms of brands i will say that personally there are only two actually there's three brands i've tried there's two that i continue to use so the two that i use are the ones that are extracted from the entire rosehip so uh cosmea i've been using cosmea rosehip oil since about 2021 and then recently a few months ago i started using pai as well both brands use co2 extraction both brands extract from the entire rosehip because i personally i want all the nutrients i want everything uh, in the best quality possible so those are the two brands that i like to use and i will leave links to both of them in the description if you found this helpful be sure to share this video with anybody else that would benefit from the information thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one Bye bye